Hi, I'm Steve and I'm an Outward Bound instructor and I work on the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award. And that's what I'm going to tell you about over the next few minutes. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the trust. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's the theory about behind the way that we work with people. And then I'm going to give you some detail on the award. At the end of the time, we'll give you an opportunity to, to apply for the award if you want to. If you're in sixth year and you're in one of our participating schools, then you can apply. There are places allocated to your school. It's just waiting for you to get on the website and click on the big green button. So let's get started, shall we? For over 75 years, the Outward Bound Trust has been challenging people in the outdoors. We don't just challenge, we support people as well. And we teach them about supporting each other. Because we want you to be members of successful teams. So as a new person coming into the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award and maybe going on your first residential, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be challenged by us. I'm going to be challenged in the outdoors in a, on an adventurous course with a bunch of people that you don't know very well, but are soon to become some of your best friends. You'll learn about yourself. You'll learn about those people around you. You'll learn about the skills and attributes that you've got, some of which you already knew about, but you'll learn a whole load of stuff about yourself that you didn't know. And you'll learn and understand how teams work properly. At the end of that experience, You'll come away with a group of really, really good friends who you'll then embark on a community project with. Now, the following three months after your five day residential, you'll spend with them once a week, getting together with them and setting up your community project. But we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Let's now see an overview through use for his eyes of her. getting 200 young people from the central belt of Scotland and giving them an experience of working with people that they have never met before and also taking part in a leadership program. They, they've got real grit and determination and they just want to succeed and they want to make the best for themselves. And then we camped and um, also we did some log climbing activities so we had to help each other up the, up the logs. We're gonna build a stream so 
We're just gonna dig out all the soil and then um, line it and then put cement in it and we're gonna get some recycled broken tiles so that there's a there's a sort of shiny effect on it. We've been trying to do a project fix up the garden for a, for a long time but it's, it's just not been possible to happen because there's not enough there's not enough money they don't, they don't have money for it so I'm glad that we could make that possible for them. Well, now that um, now that it's finished, um, I'm a lot happier with everything. It's turned out to be much nicer than I thought, much nicer than I expected. They work together to design and rejuvenate the garden and the quarry of homelessness support centre for young people in North Asia. We've got kids here that have got great spirit, um, great ambition as well, and have a great sense of community and a, and a love for community and a love for Scotland. So it's, it's got to be good in the long term for all of us. We feel like we've really achieved a lot, so that's really good. And um, we're really proud of ourselves and we've, we've done more than we expected, so we're really happy about that. Yeah, well, leadership skills are, are very important in life. Uh, education is one thing, but applying that education is, is another. And I think a lot of Scottish youngsters, for no particular reason, seem to like self-confidence. I think what the Mark Scott Leadership Programme uh, is doing for them is to give them that inner confidence, that self-confidence, because they're doing things. I was more confident on my first day, and you, I thought on the first day, I think it's normal to think that people are usually smarter than you but um, you know the confidence that I learned or through the Mark Scott Foundation it helped me fit in more and also realize that I'm just the same as everybody else and you know I'll get on just as well as everybody else it gives them the chance to understand people more and it gives them the chance to deal with people better as well So, um, mindset is a key part of uh, the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award, and there's two elements of it. We'll get to yet in a second. But the first bit is about not worrying what other people think, not worrying about failing, because we never fail. And that man sound, might sound really, really odd, but actually, we don't fail, we just don't necessarily find the, the successful method straight away. And that sounds like some fuzzy fuzzy words but think about it this way if we think about this story of thomas edison he didn't up and make the light bulb straight away he made and the story goes a hundred different things um, that eventually found made his way to the point where the hundredth thing he tried was the light bulb but again it wasn't by accident what he'd done is he ticked off the list 99 different ways that this thing wouldn't work until he found the way that he did so every time he wasn't successful, he learned something new, which brought him closer to success. And the key part of that story is that we have to try. We're not going to learn and not going to develop if we don't try. So first thing we do on a Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award course is start working on building a trusting and friendly and supportive team. And that makes it easier for us to break out of that behavioural pattern that we all have. We don't want to look silly in front of other people and actually start to, to try stuff. My job as an Outward Bound instructor is to challenge you with things that you don't think you can do and support you with the help of your new team to try those things without fear. Then you can discover that you can do them or you can discover that you can analyse your results and work out how you could be better next time because next time is really, really important. We need to be thinking about the future, which is where YET comes in. YET, for you guys, for our, our, our participants, is about taking control and about optimism. So I'm just gonna take the first, first line there. Uh, the first one out there is, I can't run a marathon yet. Okay, I can't run a marathon yet. So let's take the YET out for the moment and just contrast it. I can't run a marathon, full stop. Well, there's nothing else to it, is there? I can't run a marathon. I can't run one now. Won't be able to run one tomorrow. I just can't run one. It's not going to happen. But if we actually add yet to the end of the sentence, and this just sounds like playing with words, but it actually really, really works. If we add yet to the sentence and we train ourselves to naturally add yet to the sentence, I can't run a marathon yet. I now have the ability to grow because 
Later, I could run a marathon if I wanted to. I've now got the ability to grow and develop. I've left that open to myself. And I can't run a marathon yet, but I may be able to at some point in the future when I choose to. So I've now got choice. I've got growth potential and choice just from those three little words. So if you decide not to apply for the award or you don't want to do it, please just take that away. So what you can see up on the screen up there are the four things that we've really got to offer you. We've offered you build your confidence. So if you ever think that your personal or social confidence is a thing that's held you back, that you're doing fine at school, but you're not going to quite get where you want to because you're not the confident person that you want to be, or you're not organized or you don't have an understanding of how teamwork uh, teams work, then those two things are major areas that we're going to work on. and We can help you get to where you want to get to. The other two areas, deepening the knowledge of and respect for other people will happen as you work through um, your community project with a group of people from your area, because you won't know very many of them before you get started, maybe none of them. And then you will have a positive effect on your community through your community project. And that community project is going to be something that you identify It's your project. We don't give it to you. You identify it. Um, you make it happen. And your project will stand or fall by your effort and your will to make it happen and the way that you work with people. Now that then feeds right into the, the, the invisible fifth one, which is getting where you want to get to. People are gatekeepers. You've got, to, you've got to think about somebody you're going in for an interview for a job or college or university, uh, maybe in a modern apprenticeship and you're going through a series of gates. So the first gateway you get through with your schoolwork. OK, um, the people are going to have a list of what qualifications do we want folks to get before we get into this this college course or this university place. If you haven't got them, then they're possibly not going to get let you in. So you might end up in the not so not so much, not so interested pile. Next pile of people, you've got a whole bunch of people who've got the qualifications, got the basic stuff. Then we start looking for what makes people different. And if you've got an example that you can give that demonstrates your skills and abilities to get things done, that makes you really, really interesting to all of those people. So something like the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award will give you the ability to demonstrate on paper a little bit about what you can do because you can write about taking responsibility for things you've achieved in your uh, in your project, get, uh, communication, talking to people, getting, uh, getting people to come on board with you and things like that, all that kind of stuff. And then the really, really important thing is with that additional confidence that you've got, you can go then into an interview, which you're more likely to have got now, and tell people. And sitting in an interview, the interviewers aren't interested in learning about all the stuff they know about everybody else. They want to find out what's different about you. And every single one of those destinations wants people that are organized, they're up for it, they're hardworking, um, and they can, they're resilient and they can make a difference. Okay, universities, colleges, employers, they all want that. And you can use the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award as a thing that you can then demonstrate all of that stuff to them. And I know from years of experience of participants coming back from me for uh, year after year and saying, well, I had an interview at wherever it was. And all we talked about was the Mark Scott Leadership for Life Award is because that's what makes you interesting as well. So we can build your confidence. We can give you material to talk about at interview uh, and we can help you understand how you can be resilient and you can work really well in teams. And if that's, that's something that really excites you and really interests you, then there's loads of information on the website and the application form as well, because that's what you need to do next is make an application through the website. So you've seen Yusra uh, and I've given you a little bit of information about why you might want to do the award. Uh, but what are you committing to? 
Now that's really, really important. So fundamentally, we've been doing this for six years, uh, for over 20 years now. We know how we can fit it into your six year. Um, it will fit in uh, quite well. All we're asking when you get back from the residential is that you spend round about a half an hour to an hour once a week with the rest of your team. And where you meet those people is entirely up to you. Um, and, and where you meet them is entirely up to you as well. All we ask is that as a, as a Leadership for Life instructor, I ask that I can come to see, uh, come to see you at your meetings as often as possible. So there's a, there's a little bit of negotiation there, but fundamentally it's your project um, and, and you're organising it yourself. So think about half an hour a week and maybe a little bit extra every so often. That can easily fit into your lives. The big chunks either end You've got a five day residential course at an Outward Bound Centre. Now that will take place at the start of your sixth year. Uh, and we've already spoken to, we have a, a teacher in each of the schools um, that's taking part. And we've basically got you permission to take five days out of school at the start of sixth year. And we, we see you before the October break. So it's before everything ramps up a little bit. Um, and you can fit that in. Um, you'll have a little bit of catching up to do, but it's totally manageable. People do it every year, year in, year out. The other end is you will need to deliver a three day community project. And now that's uh, when nobody knows what your project is because you haven't decided it yet. Um, and you can decide whether it's going to be a weekend project or whether you're going to be in weekdays. And if it's going to be in weekdays, you need to be able to get out of school. So you'll need to negotiate with school. OK, so you can decide where those days come out. Um, in the middle there, we've got uh, a project forum. So you might need to get out of school a little bit early one day for that because um, that's in an evening, uh, a refresh day, which is uh, largely an optional thing, but it's an opportunity to have another wee adventure uh, and get together and review the learning before you go into your community project and then obviously your community project. And if you can do that and um, a little bit of paperwork, then we will run an award ceremony for you. Big fancy thing gets everybody together and there will be over 150 participants there all in the same place with their guests and family will get uh, will get guest speakers in. We've had some good guest speakers in the past, actually, um, and we'll get them in there. We'll run that for you as well to make that a really good event to kind of finish off your award experience. So we're down to our last few slides here, a little, little bit more information, just a bit, a bit more background here. So um, there is some support while you're taking part. Obviously, you have your, um, your outward bound instructor uh, and they'll go through the whole experience with you. So they'll be on your residential, they'll be running your residential course uh, and they'll come back and they'll see you through your community project as well. And they're there as a resource to help you learn. Um, somebody to ask questions of, someone has done lots and lots of community projects before, um, uh, but also there to make sure that you're safe um, and help you through any of the issues that may occur as you go through your, your project. In the middle of all of that as well, you also have a school champion, so a teacher at your own school who knows what the award's about, knows what you're going through um, and can be there to help you and advise you as well and to check in with on time to time. And if you need to do something within the school, then they're a good person to, to help you liaise with the school as well. So that'd be the person you go and ask to get days out to do community projects as well. So that's the first one. Second slide then is about cost. And it's really, really important. If you're thinking, Ooh, this looks fantastic, but I don't think I can afford it. If you can find 30 quid, you can afford it because that's all it's going to cost you. It's worth 1600 pounds roundabouts per person to take part. And that's paid for for you by the Scottish Government, by trusts, foundations, individuals and businesses, people who are investing in you. They're willing to invest in you this amount of money, £1,600 per individual to take part in this because they recognise that what we're delivering is going to make such a difference to you.
I'm the access coordinator at Strathclyde University these days. You know, the, there's been a big government push on for more and more people to come in and take degree courses. That means that we have lots and lots of graduates coming out at the other end and your degree is what you have in common with everybody else and it's the other things that actually set you apart as somebody a little bit special and worth considering for a job. If you've applied for a course and when the hires results come out you just haven't quite made the grades, one of the things we'll do is look again at your personal statement and if you look like the kind of person who will be a good student, get involved in the university community, then we might uh, still consider you, even though you've just slightly missed the mark. You're always going to need these kind of skills in your life, no matter what you're doing. It's precisely the kind of skills around team working, around project management that employers are looking for. So anyone who, who attends this course is only going to help themselves in the future when they come to look for a job because as employers will only want to pick the best people and if you can demonstrate through attendance and participation in this kind of project that you've got those skills then believe you me you will increase your chances of getting a job particularly if you're competing with people who don't have that background and certainly as I think about myself and look back in my own experience when I was your age I never did anything like this. I wish I had because I know it would have opened up some more opportunities for me and given me better chances to compete in some of the interviews I went to where I was unsuccessful. So hopefully that by this stage you're thinking, you know, leadership for life, it sounds like a brilliant thing. This is just what I want to do or something like that. If that's the case or you want some more information, then go to the website and all you need to do is stick into Google MSLFLA, I had to think about it there, MSLFLA, um, it's on the slide there, stick that in there, .org, um, and you'll get to the website. Okay, loads of information, some more films and stuff like that, lots of information on there. More importantly, the big green button. All you need to do, you press the big green button and follow the trail through there. There's an application form in the middle of there uh, and some paperwork as well that we want you to fill in. You fill that in, be honest. Um, we, we are looking for people that are willing to commit to the award um, and we will commit to you as well. So put right a little bit in there, but don't be off put by the questions, they're pretty simple. Fire it off to us. 